So welcome back to the Spokane ORV Park in an off-road review video featuring this 2021 Lexus GX 460 midsize luxury SUV. Haven't been here for a while and now that I'm here, I've got so much snow and it's falling down as we speak, as I speak. So today I'm gonna take this on a little spin here, talk about some of the things in the vehicle, what it has to offer. Uh, what I don't cover will be on everymandriver.com. So let's get going. So the GX460 features full-time four-wheel drive and we also have an added off-road package for $1,500, which features crawl control and multi-terrain select. There are five different off-road driving conditions that you can prepare for with this vehicle. There's mud and sand, loose and rock, mogul, rock and dirt, and rock mode. We're gonna keep it in the first position because mud and rock also includes muddy roads, sandy roads, snow-covered roads, dirt trails, and other slippery and dirty conditions. So that's what we'll be uh, driving in today. It is good to be back. I'm very excited about being back out here. Going off-road and showcasing vehicles at this ORV park is very popular. If you're new to my channel, um, I've had some memorable experiences out here, both good and bad. Unfortunately, I'm not getting some good traction right here <laughs> going down. I'm, it's really trying to grab some traction, but it's not working. Uh, this snow that you see here is about two days old, so some of it came down today, much of it came down yesterday. What I love about coming out here is how peaceful it is, but also the challenging conditions that it presents. More so when it's not so snowy, I'm able to really showcase the grip, uh, how this can handle. Today will be kind of fun. I can tell you more about this vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and try to get some acceleration up this spot here. Oh, moguls. Whoa, crap, crap. <laughs> that was a little deep on that rut. A little acceleration, we're good. Woo! Now, I've got four cameras as of right now. With that said, let me check they're all there. Sorry to interrupt this snowy off-road video. I have to apologize. I started off with four cameras. There was a technical problem with one of them, and that's why you're only seeing three right now. And at the end, I lost another one because it ran out of memory space on the memory card. So soon you'll see just two camera angles, but I kept it because I thought it was kind of fun of what I attempted to do in the video. So that's what's going on. That's why you're seeing three now, and you'll see two later. Please accept my apologies. Good thing this mid-sized luxury has 8.1 inches of ground clearance because those were some pretty big moguls right there. All right, again, we're in that, uh, that first mode, which is gonna take us good, hopefully, with snow. Look at some deep ruts here. All right. Now, this, this vehicle has a great reputation for its off-road ability not so much being on road which is surprising but you know it's a big honking vehicle the powertrain 4.6 liter v8 six-speed automatic transmission again full-time four-wheel drive so it is thirsty Woo! fuel economy like 15 city 19 highway so yeah you're not buying this because of that you're buying it because this dinosaur knows how to drive off road and I'm feeling every bit of these bumps. It feels, um, it's got some good suspension actually, and it's absorbing the bumps pretty good. I really wish I could showcase this off-road multi-terrain select better, but we only have snow. I wish I had the crawl control available. We got the high four and low four option. I don't know. I don't don't think we can really utilize the the low four. What stands out with this vehicle? 
somewhat is how old the technology is. This infotainment screen is from the, I don't know, it's like 10 years old. This uh, came out in 2010, I think it was. So they need to do some updates with this, but I guess it's the old adage, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Although this could use some fixing. Let's see, oh, okay, this might be a good one. I've been up this one before when it's dry. It's a very narrow pathway. And I think I've been in the CRV, in, in fact, through this part here. I've been through a lot of different vehicles in this section here. We're somewhat wide. And it looks like someone hasn't been here. We're fresh tracks. Although people do take this route. We're bouncing all over the place. Woo! Jeez! Damn, son! <laughs> It's got a really beautiful interior. I mean, you, you, you expect that, right? Luxury, midsize. Traction control is, is kicking in. Um, what can I tell you about this? You know, yeah, the, the biggest downside, I think, is this infotainment screen. It's just outdated graphics. It's got plenty of USB ports. I got two up front, two in the back. Um, Radio seems kind of blah, blah, blah. Seats are comfortable. And let me show you a, a little bit quick demo of the cargo area. The GX40 has one of those old fashioned swinging doors. So the handle's actually right here. Swing it wide open to reveal the back. This has like 67 overall cubic feet of volume. So it's a three row midsize. Hey, you're getting three rows is kind of a nice little bonus. It's not gonna be a whole bunch of storage, but enough in the back. I actually have my, uh, my bow equipment here. I'm gonna do some target shooting here soon with my arrow. So when you fold this up, not a ton back here, but as you can see, fold it down and make the best that you can. I do have a, a car seat back there, being able to put two car seats, one rear facing, one front facing. So definitely a family vehicle if you want that. Now, in addition to the door swinging open, you also have an option here to reach in. So like let's say you're the grocery store and you don't want to swing this door open because the car is behind you, use this option and then you can reach in and get what you want or put your groceries in. So that's kind of a, a look at how your back area is for cargo volume and access to the back. All right, back inside, we're gonna head down an incline here just to take it easy. There happens to be a pond out in the distance. No. No, 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 no. Yep, that's the one. That is, my friends, the infamous pond from the 2014 Forerunner. So, a little backstory if you don't know. I attempted to go across this pond, which was serious, I mean, maybe thicker than that of ice. And it was very shallow when I first attempted to go over it. The, 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 the little pond here was shallow in the past. And then it was frozen over and I thought, okay, we'll take the, uh, the Forerunner over it. I get about, I don't know, half of a, a body length in and I just dip, the nose dips. And I did this, uh, I don't know, two and a half minutes of this three point turn to get my ass out of there. Finally did, lost a GoPro in the process, caused some damage to the underbelly of this. And I repaired some of it on my own, but it wasn't enough. And as a result, uh, Toyota banned me for about five years. I was very new at some of these off-road adventures and attempts, so it was definitely my fault. And I haven't done something as stupid as that since. Done stupid stuff, but not like that. <laughs> now, I've also gone up this hill in a Kia Sorento years ago in snow and ice and a, a CRV. I guess I'll try it. What do you think? I know what you're saying. Um, thing is, there's some major moguls here and that's gonna lose my momentum. I'm not gonna make it. I think I'll just... Hmm. Okay. Whew. Whoa. Oh my goodness, you see that? I'm trying to go against the steer, against the spin. The vehicle turned off. Yeah, I think I'll go a safer route. 
And that's what it sucks about being out here in the snow is that there's just, just no traction. And if I find a deep spot, I can get really screwed. What was it? There was a, um, yeah, I can't remember which vehicle it was. You might remember. There was a vehicle I drove in which I was towed out. Maybe, oh, it was a Honda. It was, I think it was a CRV because I called the, the Honda rep and I said, hey, I did a video on the Honda CRV. It had regular tire, I think it just had all season tires on it. And I got stuck because it was some really soft, deep snow. And luckily, an old time four wheel drive, a forerunner came by and they happened to have chains, otherwise I would have been screwed. And they towed me out. And so I did a story with them, or at least showcased them in the video. That was nerve wracking. Man. So I'm not going, <laughs> going off road in those type of vehicles. This one I will because this is the one that says it can do that kind of thing. We're rolling on 19s, by the way. This comes standard with 18s. See, the key is getting some momentum. All right, too much snow. I'm gonna slide back and go, yeah, you can see I'm not, let's go neutral, let's go reverse. This is probably what you came for, right? I never had doubt because I'm in the Lexus GX 460. So with that, I think our demo is just about done. Just too, uh, too many th deep moguls and I just can't get enough traction. So I'm gonna go up the same route I came down, which should be fine. I'm just slipping around too much. Yeah, I've, been, I've kind of discovered hidden puddles, icy hidden puddles, which are not good news. Normally this is a very good vehicle off-road when it's dry. Today is not one of those days. But I know how much you like seeing uh, the ORV park and I love coming out here. So I'm gonna go back up top and uh, wrap it up and give you a few more details. All right, here we go. I think this is the spot. Yeah, I think it's the same spot I was towed up by that forerunner. And here are my tracks. Okay, here we go. All right, let me give you some uh, other details. The maximum towing capacity is 6,500 pounds. The maximum cargo capacity officially is 64.7 cubic feet. Again, ground clearance is 8.1 inches. This comes in three trim levels, the base, premium, and luxury. We have the luxury, so 301 horsepower, 329 pound-feet of torque with that six-speed automatic transmission under the hood and standard all-wheel drive. The MSRP range on a 2021 GX460 is between 53 and 64,000 and change. And we have the top trim level, so let me give you what all the specs are on this one. We have an additional what is it, the off-road package for 1500. There's a Mark Levinson 17 speaker sound system for 1100. And then the sport design package for 2000. All said and done, this vehicle is just over $70,000. More details right now on everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Woo, we survived. Of course we did. See you later, adios. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.
One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comments section below.